Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob become Zenitsu Agatsuma in Project Slayers. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starco Gamer Nom with purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, there is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so in order to start this journey in becoming Zenitsu Agatsuma, first, we need his clan, right? So for his clan, we need a supreme clan, and that is the Agatsuma clan again. So if you're gonna ask me, it took me, I think, like 400 spins to get this clan. Guys, there you go. Haruno, Saito, and yes, there you go. Agatsuma supreme clan. Okay, so here are the perks. Godspeed mode. And dominate will clan skill, blah, blah, blah. So you can read it if you want. So guys, moving on. By the way, we have Ringoku as our saved clan. So maybe we can make a Flame Hashira later, right? But now let's focus on making this character become Zenitsu. Next up, the eyes. So guys, let's make this fast. For the eyes, it is number 19. For nose, number... Wait for it. I think it's number 8. Yes, there you go, number 8. And for the mouth, I'm gonna make it fast, okay? Number 29. And for the hair, next up, the hair again, it is number four. Okay, primer hair. Make sure it's color yellow. There you go. For the clothes, here it is. Shoe four, shirt ten, pants three, and that's it. Okay? You can screenshot it if you want. Next up is our costume. So aside from making your own uh, combination of shirts, pants, and shoes, we need a sword and Zenitsu's Haori. Okay? So first... Here you go, that one, we already have three. Again, with the level account, we already have all these items. And next up, the sword. So for the sword or the katana, we're going to use this one. Yes, at level one, we already have the lightning katana. So guys, after this, maybe a lantern will do. There you go, check that out. We have the clan, we have the hari, we have the sword, we have the hair, we have the eyes, we have the mouth, okay. So I think guys, we are ready. So now, I think it is time to grind. Okay, so in the first village, look for Somi. Guys, by the way, this is Godspeed. There you go. So first, we're gonna defeat five subordinates of Zuko. So I just need to learn the combo first. My brother said left, right, left, right, left, right, click, and that's it. The damage is kinda high. So let's defeat five of them. I'm gonna make things faster. As you can see, guys, that dodge only possible with the Godspeed. And it ends in 30 seconds. Okay, next up guys, you need to save her sister, okay? So, in order to carry the sister, you press H and then, while carrying her, defeat two of Zuko's subordinates. So guys, we're gonna make this fast again. There you go, very easy. One more and return her sister and I think that's it. After that, you can now defeat Zuko. Zuko or Zuko. Okay, here he is. Easy, easy to defeat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's easy to defeat. That's the indomitable will. There you go, combo. So my technique here is I will let him punch first. There you go. And then time my left clicks. And oops. <laughs> Get punched here again. One more time. Oh. Guys, I still have lots to learn here. Dodge first, please. Okay. Okay. There you go, left click. And that's it. There you go. Okay. One more time. I think one or two more combos is enough. Godspeed. Let's go. Boom. Okay. So after this, guys, uh, you have the choice to keep on repeating this quest. Or you can also pick rice for your quest. There you go. Again, uh, your level. Goal here is level 10. Okay. So as you can see, it's very easy. No fighting. Or you can deliver this dude. With Grandpa Wagwan. <laughs> Anyways, guys, level 10. We're going to leave this area. Okay. I hope that's clear. Gamer Nom, where are we going? First, let's deliver this wagon and then we're gonna beat demons in the Zapiwara cave, okay? So this is a good place to grind demon horns as well as grind mastery for our, uh, what do you call this, lightning breathing style later. So there you go. So guys, go here is level 15 and after that, just climb on top of the cave because we're going to start the lightning breathing style quests so from this dude so guys we'll start with the last two quests why because this is the hard part so first again last two quests okay 
you're gonna head here and you're gonna dodge the lightning okay you should stay in this circular thing and dodge lightning until the bar or the meter is full on the bottom of the screen gamer Nom, why didn't you show the first three quests guys because the quest includes traveling so i'll be showing it to you after this so don't worry so guys there you go as you can see bar is almost full oops okay there you go okay so after this guys head back to your teacher and for the final quest he will ask you to defeat zenitsu so is it hard guys this mob has a skills and it's hard to dodge at first but once you get used to his uh, attack patterns it will be very easy so guys just use your left clicks dodge there you go and repeat okay so can you defeat it solo yes you can do it as long as you're patient and you're good at dodging okay so let's defeat this one there you go so guys after this there you go thunder breathing and we need to unlock five more skills so we can unlock the first one by defeating zenitsu or zangetsu in this game okay so for our next target we will head to this village this is the location of previous quests there you go fast forward so for those who already know the butterfly mansion is our target area there you go butterfly mansion this is the previous quest so first you need to do this meditate so just click on the blue thing goal is to keep hitting it until your bar is full there you go next up guys the push up so you need to type fast here so next is target shooting so guys make sure to unequip tools here anyways those are the first three quests you go before dodging the lightning and defeating zenitsu or sangetsu okay next up after learning the lightning style next is mastering the breathing so this is easy took me like 30 minutes and guys check this out we have three gourds by one first one costs 200 wen and i think you need to like destroy three or five of this next up the medium and you need to destroy seven of those i guess i forgot but in total i think 30,000 to 40,000 you need 30 to 40,000 wen in order to max out your breathing style Gamer Gnome, how did you grind lots of WEN? Guys, I have another account. <laughs> I just gave the money or the WEN of that account to this level 1 account. Okay? So guys, breathing is 155. That is the Q that you've already maxed out. You're breathing. There you go. Now you can run faster. And you don't need to like breathe most of the time. And you can heal while breathing your HP. Okay? So now time to go back to Zenitsu and unlock the final skill. Also, our goal is to unlock all the skills, so we need masteries, okay? So, check this out, guys. After we defeat a Zenitsu or Zangetsu or whatever is the name of this one, check that out. See that? For the X skill, hit lightning, long range. There you go. Level 20, next village. So, let's defeat this one. Head north, east, or northwest. There you go, and you will find a ladder here, okay? So, this is the next village. Beat Kaiden and his subordinates. So this is the final quest before our uh, final selection. Why? Because that is enough quest. It's easy to grind in the early stages of this game. So there you go. Defeat Kaiden subordinates. And after that, defeat Kaiden or Kaiden. C skill guys, 20 mastery. This is the skill. There you go. I'm going to show you a combo later once we unlock every skill. For the V skill at mastery 26, this one. There you go. Not bad. For the beast skill, Master 30. This one's really good. The Rise Spirit. Boom. Okay. And the last skill, End Skill at 45. Thunderclap. There you go. So goal here is level 50, guys, before leaving the village and doing final selection. So guys, for the combo, we're going to 1v1 Kaden. So I suggest start with the Z skill. After that, left clicks. There you go. And when you're in the air, use your C skill. There you go. You can use X skill to push him. Or use your B skill okay there you go after that V skill there you go so guys you can use your uh, N skill to substitute for your Z skill just keep on repeating that technique and you can defeat most of the bosses here okay guys so at level 50 we can now head to the butterfly mansion why here because this is the nearest uh, village or town near just final selection so guys turn left follow the path from the butterfly mansion 
There you go. Just follow this path and in the end, you will find the final selection area. There you go. Okay, so here guys, there's a timer. You just wait for it to finish. Actually, you can start this one at level 15, but I suggest to become stronger. It is really easy to solo the selection. So first, find Beth Katana. So go to the stairs, then follow path, and to the right, you will find the Katana. So there you go. Okay, just straight, straight, straight. Okay, to the right. There it is. Okay. So after that, you need to defeat demons on your next quest. So guys, uh, this is easy. But make sure to not get damaged because you cannot regenerate here, okay? You can use bandages, but I just don't get damaged. It's very easy to dodge them. Next up, find fruits. Okay, so I'm going to show you. The first fruit is located west of Obe. 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 <laughs> there you go. Obe. Something like that. Strawberry. And the next fruit is on the east. Again, starting from him. Here it is, at the back of the hill. There you go, the apple. And last one is at the northeast, uh, between north and northeast. And there goes the banana. Okay, now we can make fruit salad. <laughs> Next up, guys, you're gonna need to defeat demons again. Last two quests after we finish the final selection. Next up, beat demons again from many. This is the last one before we fight the strongest demon in the selection. And that is the hand demon. So here it is. Okay, so guys, technique here. High ground or use long range attacks and that's it. But for me guys, I defeated it face to face, one on one. Guys, I'm capping. <laughs> I climbed the mountain and I only used my long range attack to damage him until his HP is really low, okay? <laughs> so just climb the mountain and yes, he is really beatable, one on one. There you go and after that, uh, a countdown. Oh, these are the items that we got. A countdown, timer, wherein they will give you the crow, okay? Now we are part of the Demon Slayer Corp. Guys, should we reach max level here? Comment in the comment section. Or should we unlock the other fight style first in the first map, okay? So there you go. Slayer Corp allows you to climb the ranks. Should we climb the ranks? So far, we're Niz Nizunoto, right? How about we become a Hashira? Is that even possible? Comment it in the comment section. Oh, we have an ore. Okay, also a crow. So my friends told me that you can have higher experience and when here with this quest from the crow. So guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.